Hello, crypto world. Well, what a couple of days. CZ steps down. Finance is fined 4.3 billion. And the market is still in the green. Yeah, I'm really, really bullish. And I thought I'd do another uh, Kronos update because I really do think, I really do think CRO is going to go to a dollar. And I really think it's going to go above. And I'm going to give you the reasons why I think that's going to happen. And nothing I say on here is financial advice. Always do your own research. Never put more money you're willing to lose. But, you know, for me, I've just been accumulating CRO for quite a long time through this bear market, through the times of, of fear, uncertainty and doubt, you know, so I really have been accumulating. I've been compounding, putting money in, you know, ready for this bull market and the bulls are out in strength at this point. So I hope everybody's well. Before I start, give us a thumbs up, give us a subscribe. It's always much appreciated. But we can see Bitcoin at the moment is at 37,500 for making this video. And we can look at the, mar at the market cap at the moment for a crypto space is $1.42 trillion. So we're looking all right. And then we can see here Kronos is in 30th position at the moment and we're hanging around that 94 pence market at the moment so yeah everything is looking really just just a thing not too long ago cro was at well, 4.5 pence and 50 pence that boring range we weren't going anywhere it felt like it was just going sideways action it was really boring uh, and that the old market was boring to be honest with you but look at us now we've got a load of gaming tokens that have been pumping like vulcan forge and then we've got cro which just had that amazing run up to that 12 uh 12 cents mark like you know we have come back but i'm not surprised the whole market has sort of come back a little bit but the other day i really did think i don't know what you guys thought but i really did think that we we're going to come down quite significantly from the from the binance uh if, you know all the finance uh, legals with the DOJ that came about, but but we can look at the crypto.com at the moment. It's looking really rosy. We can see here. Look at this customer range inflows: three hundred and seventeen million, one million, uh, one month. We're at one hundred and twenty. Sorry, one hundred and fifty-seven million. I was looking at the wrong one then. And then we're over seven days: ninety-nine million, sixty-six million in the past twenty-four hours. You know. We aren't doing too bad. Look, at, you can see what has happened in Binance, just in the red. Most places, people are in the red. Q coins are doing all right. But 370 million, it just shows what's happened. We've had all that FUD last year and earlier this year and part of last year. And, you know, it's like we've got these war scars, but we've got stronger. Crypto.com has just got stronger and stronger. All the marketing they've been, what people said is a waste of time. Absolutely not. They have got a good marketing team. They've got a, good, a brilliant CEO who's a strong CEO who leads his, force, his, his team to strength. And when all the times were bad, they just built and built and built. And when they, all that FUD came out, I was building, I was stacking my CRO, I was compounding, and I was buying like you would not believe. I was buying 100,000 CRO, 200,000 CRO here and there. Uh, when the streets are red, you know what Warren Buffett he says, when the streets are red, you buy. And that's what I've been doing. And now we've been going up, it's certainly been paying off. And yeah, I have been buying throughout the bear market and some people say falling knife, don't care. Been doing what Sailor does, been buying. And it, it averages itself out as we start going up. So, you know, it is what it is. But we got that Binance news the other day. Uh, it pleaded guilty. A lot of you have probably already the news on it. Uh, the company... Uh, didn't prevent Hamas transactions. That's what they were saying. So they got paid, uh, charged 4.3 whopping billion. It was 10 billion apparently, but because of the negotiations with the the legal side of things, he got it down to 4.3. 4 uh, CZ was fined 50 million. I'm sure, that's not going to really dent his pockets because he's he's made a lot of money. Sentencing delayed by six months. So I think about February time, he'll have to come back to the US because I think he's gone back to Dubai. Uh, he'll come back to the US for sentencing. So that will be quite an interesting uh, an event when it happens. But we got like, you know, we had like, uh, you know, like Chris who came out and he said he was quite right. Chris is the CEO of Crypto.com, if you didn't know. It's great to see a major Vang removed. Body bodes extremely well for the market. Looking forward to the next chapter of its development, led by the companies with required regulatory setup. 
just like crypto.com all this time they've been building get these licenses from the uae uh, canada the uk uh, south korea and many 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 other places to get these licenses just to get clarity and been working with regulators to get the you know so they so they're not going to be um chased by the you know gary genslers of the world sort of thing so you know it's paid off all this hard work what they're doing is paid off and and do you know something? The hard work hasn't stopped. It's got to keep going. And there are no doubt that team's going to keep on going. You know, because it's like I said, like on this video here, I could pause it. I could pause it here. And it says here, Brazil, you know, we've got Italy, Greece, and many countries. You can see on here, all these countries here, which they've got the regulatory licenses. And no doubt there's still more to come in the pipeline. You know, so that is why I've invested. Even with all that FUD that happened, they're doing really well. And like I said, that dollar mark is my target. And I really do think we're going to go over that. Because of everything they built, the marketing's been brilliant. F1 Grand Prix, we've got UFC, Paris Saint-Germain. You know, we've got the stadium. And all the other little uh, areas that they've got the marketing in. And that, like I said, and then they've got the debit cards as well. Not forgetting that. But, you know, like Dubai, like this Cecilia, uh, I follow her, give her a follow. Uh, she's actually fantastic, gives loads of information out there, and she's one of the top crow fam in my eyes. Uh, and that, so yeah, you know, just give her a follow. It's worth doing that. And, you know, it just shows you, if you just go to the website, if you go to the website, it just tells you everything about what crypto.com have, the prices, the products, about the company, you could go here and even learn what is trending, product news, the events, the market update, research analysis. You could go to the website and it gives you everything regarding about the, the prices, the debit cards, how to use the app, you know, and it gives you everything, all the updates regarding, and like I say, just go on Twitter as well, and it gives you updates regarding like, you know, what the benefits you get from the, the debit cards and such like, you know, so... But everything they've been producing, because they've got the DeFi wallet, they've got the, the exchange itself where you could do your, your spot trading. They've got everything there. They've got the security, which is a big one. You can see here, all they've got a deep order book of liquidity. It gives a speed there. And like I said, the big one here, security. That is a biggie. And, you know, when you look at the price, and I'm going on about, like, what we're going to go to a dollar, or we're going to go to two dollars, if we went from like what we are now to what BNB is now, that's a 13x. And don't forget, we are right at the beginning of that bull market. We're right in that accumulation stage where we have these little, little pumps, pullbacks. And when we have these pullbacks, to me, that is, that's buying a dip again. Uh, for me, personally, but like I said, you always do your own research. But this just shows you here right now would be a 13x and that'll give us one dollar 37 if we caught up with bnb now and like i said we're right at the beginning of this bull market and when things do kick off and we start going parabolic for the altcoins especially look at where cro where look where we are now and look where we're going to be in the future i just see that we're going to go to a dollar that's to two dollars to me, that's quite conservative. I've been hearing people say $4, but I'd rather be conservative and say $1 to $2 because like then I'm not going to be disappointed if we don't get to 3 or $4. I'm going to be really, really happy at dollar because I've been accumulating quite a bit when there have been dips. So I've been accumulating. So get to that dollar, I'm going to be happy. Anything above that to me is going to be that beautiful little extra cherry on the pie for me and that you know so but like i said you always do your own research but you just gotta look out look at the bigger picture look don't forget though bear in mind in anything you get big push-ups you get big moves up you're gonna have big pullbacks big move up big pullbacks don't forget in the bull market it's not all green candles you will get red candles as well so you've got to be stronger psychologically you've got to be emotionless uh, in, when I'm invested, I don't do much. I do a bit of spot trading, but in general, I don't do leverage trading at all. I don't do that. I, I'm, I'm a long-term investor. I do a bit of spot trading here and there, you know, but I do not have emotion. 
Uh, and then one thing I don't do is fall in love with projects. I like what the crypto.com are doing. I think they're fantastic from an investor's point of view. I do. I look at them through an investor's point of view. I've been doing it for over 20 odd years, investing in various companies uh, on the stock markets and uh, crypto I've been here for a number of years. So like I said, always do your own research. But CRO to me is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And also do not forget that you have a strong community. That is the one of the uh, big things in crypto, strong community and that. So if you put all that in a hat, it gives you the answer. So take care out there. Enjoy the green days and don't be fearful when you see those red days. Take care and I'll see you soon in the next video.